I'm Lauren from Awful TV, sponsored by West Fear, and today we're talking to Keith Farnan and his show Fear Itself. How are you doing today? Good. <laughs> Good. That was a very long introduction, isn't it? I know, it's a lot to yeah, say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, What's the beer? Oh, West Fear. West Fear? <laughs> oh my yes. corporate sweet lord, <laughs> Judas. Sly. Okay, well, at least it's not Coca Cola, nobody's dying, so that's okay. At least. Yeah. So are you enjoying it? <laughs> Sponsored by Coca Cola next year, by the way. Sponsored by West Fear. in Edinburgh because I'm not wet I'm not trench foot. Uh, the first year I was here it was like World War One. there was just water up to your ankles and, and mortars coming in and uh, it was deadly whereas this just feels like a holiday you know I give five stars I give the sun five stars yeah okay so you tell us about your show oh god um, <laughs> it's a show uh, I probably it's it's I've done I've always done issue shows I've always done shows about women's rights and the death penalty and 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 this year I decided to do something that didn't have any issue and just had an idea and that's what I decided to do so I took the idea of fear and I just went with it and I just ah. so it's just I basically vomited ideas onto a page and then I took the the diced carrots of genius out of it and I went ah this is a show that could be funny and I tied them all together with a string and a bow of, of, of comedy yeah yeah and then that's it I can't explain I'm no good this is why I don't flyer because I would go up to somebody and just go my show was bleh, and it, woo, and ta -da, and they'd go oh, I don't know if I want to see that is it mime because you need mime in a show to win awards these days mime song and some sort of story where everyone cries uh, if you have those three things you can win an award so it's it's got a lot in it it's got a lot in it I always try to like I always like to think that if if have I got If you were to squash everyone down into a blender and, and add some sort of green to it, that, that's what I try to do. It's got a little bit of green. Yeah. Okay. Did that make any sense? I mean, that made complete sense. Okay. I'd say so. You're doing yeah. well at lying. <laughs> You'll have a great career in media. Great career. It's going to be a great journalist. I yes. Okay. So, you do, a lot of your shows are about like society and politics. Like, is that because you used to be a lawyer? Did you say that? No, not really. I just, I think I, I think I was a lawyer because I was, it was the other way around. You know, I was always interested in, like before I, I, I got into litigation, I worked in the States. I was very idealistic. I was like, ooh, you know, maybe law could help change society. I went to America, I worked as a student against the death penalty. You know, I worked in forensics cases where we were trying to free people from prison who'd been there for 15 years. You know, and, and you come back to Ireland and you sort of eventually work out that it's just a bartering system. And, and you know, so I've always had the curiosity. So that came before law, that came before, you know, comedy. So it just naturally informed everything I did because, you know, just, just from reading the newspapers as well, like everyone's afraid, everything's scary right now. Like I do a lot of gigs around the country and there's a lot of anger. There's a, like in audiences that you wouldn't have got two years ago. There's a lot of, because I think people are afraid, afraid for their jobs, their livelihood, everything else like that. So I'm trying to explore that without making it too sort of doom and gloom although I do I do talk about the apocalypse at one stage <laughs> but in a funny way um, so yeah so it's 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 difficult right now like people are looking for escapism and sort of very flimsy like there's a lot of mine because I think it's, it's easier to not upset anyone if you're not saying anything so if you're saying something about what's going on upset. so that's kind of hard where I'm at I'm on that line of making people laugh while they go oh I don't know if I like this yeah <laughs> so <laughs> it yeah. looks like I just it looks I'm like sorry. I took this, the severed head of a small animal and went look what's that and you went oh my god <laughs> how is that funny I'll make it funny watch me make this funny so <laughs> who would you say your comedy heroes are like who's been your comedy influences oh right now I'd say it's Louis C.K. before it was Dermot Morgan who was for the Ted, but before he was for the Ted, he was a great political comedian in Ireland, and his career suffered because of it. Like he, not even he wasn't political. I mean, he just questioned everything, and and people in Ireland at the time really didn't like that. And and he had to move to you know he moved to England. He ended up for the Ted over here, and you know, but uh, you know when he, well, like when I was really young, right now, like, you know, and it was sort of like unfortunately there's not enough of the stand up out there on, on, on DVD. But yeah, I think I think Louis C.K. now, Dermot Morgan back then. Um, uh, yeah, that's, yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, I have one last question for you. Sure. Your show's about fear, but what is your biggest fear? Oh, God. It's too bleak to talk <laughs> about it. I'll leave that for the show. I'll leave that you for leave the show. You leave that show? Yeah. Well, 
Thank you so much for talking with us today. This has been Lauren Ritchie for Waffle TV, sponsored by West Beer. And you, and where can we find Go your West show? Beer. Yeah. <laughs> where can we find your show, Gabe Lauren? Oh, it's the uh, Underbelly Cowgate 620 every day. Check it out for yourself. Thank you.